when you have been exposed. Killing some of your pursuers will make it easier to escape. Come, Altair. Speak with me a moment. As you wish. Word has reached me of your success. You have my gratitude and that of the realm. Freeing these cities from their corrupt leaders will no doubt promote the cause of peace. Can you really be so sure? The means by which men rule are reflected in their people. As you cleanse the cities of corruption, you heal the hearts and minds of those who live within. Our enemies would disagree. What do you mean? Each man I've slain has confessed strange words to me. They are without regret. Even in death they seem confident of their success. Though they do not admit it directly, there is a tie that binds them. I'm sure of it. There is a difference, Altair, between what we are told to be true and what we see to be true. Most men do not bother to make the distinction. It is simpler that way. But as an assassin, it is your nature to notice, to question. Then what is it that connects these men? Ah, but as an assassin, it is also your duty to still these thoughts and trust in your master. For there can be no true peace without order, and order requires authority. You speak in circles, master. You commend me for being aware, then ask me not to be. Which is it? The question will be answered when you no longer need to ask it. I assume you called me here for more than just a lecture. <laughs> Very well. A rank and weapon are again restored to you. Two more leaders remain. Go and see to it that their rule is ended. Altair, it seems my students do not fully understand what it is to wield a blade. Perhaps you could show them what you know. How we all should fight. You must be busy. I understand.
when the animus shows you are being watched by an informed guard, you should blend immediately. Even the slightest disturbance will attract his attention. I'll cut you down! Mm-hmm. 